this is how I would go about um, the bootstrap project and how I would present it to uh, potential students. Um, I would start off by uh, an intro slide, the, the Minecraft zombie battle. And I would include myself as my Minecraft avatar and my name just to, you know, let students know that, hey, I kind of know what's going on here in um, Minecraft and stuff. Uh, next, I added in a, a slide with a question, what would you do in a zombie apocalypse? to, uh, you know, get them engaged and have them uh, know what they're going to do in this or create with this game and stuff. And I added um, a screenshot of me playing it. Um, I wasn't doing so good, but, you know, so they have an idea. And uh, for the key concepts, uh, I think the most important part here was the blocks. Um, Obviously, it was the what was used majority of the time, and I think it's important for students to know what each of them means and how they could use it here and later on in the future for their projects. Um, I decided to color code them um, to make it easier for the students to find um, in the program. Um, I will not lie, I kind of struggled a bit going back and forth between them, so I... You know, I thought it would help the students with it. Uh, I added an objective. I will use different coding blocks to create my playing field and settings for the zombie game so they know what they're going to do. Uh, for each slide, I had um, a basic layout of what they were going to do and stuff. So for the Walmart, for example, count your steps. Um, I again color coded them but whatever is in gray like it was it's for them to do on themselves which is something that i would explain to them for example a uh, great new project means that them themselves have to go and create a new project which would be something that i would um, show them and help with uh, in case it's their first time but for example uh the ones that are color coded uh, on like the loop projects, which there's an on start one that they need, that means that they physically have to have a on start block in there. While create a steps variable means that them themselves have to go in and um, do it. And I added in a picture with a click animation uh, to show later on like how their screen is supposed to look like. And I also could do later on, um, you know, have them um, practice themselves and then be like, hey, like, does it look like this, you know, and stuff. So again, I basic layout for all the other ones and stuff. And I tried to be as specific but simple for students to, um, you know, not have a hard time with it. You know, you want them to have fun and, and um, you know, but still learn how to do this. And so this is, you know, after they're done now, we're ready to play. And I also added the extras. Um, I chose two and I gave them hints of you know, which box they would need and stuff. So um, this is me showing y'all my coding and uh, running it for y'all. Um, so for this, um, I also wanted to add in that I would, you know, go through with it with students and also in between have them uh, run it to see that everything's going fine with it. Um, mine, for the most part, went well. I think the only thing that didn't really show was the at the end where it says, like, add in, you have died. Um, it just says you died, which, um, but everything else worked. So, um, let me run it.
this is my me running. Yeah. Thank you for your time.